Next point is conditions for Coulomb's law. Two necessary conditions for Coulomb's law are mentioned here. One is point charges should be localized. Means point charges should be at rest. And second condition is distance between charges will be greater than the size of the point charges. Means point charges should be of small size. And their central distance should be greater than the size of the charges. These are two necessary conditions for Coulomb's law. Number one, charges should be at rest and their central distance should be greater than the size of the charges. Second thing, the next point is Coulomb's law in vector form. Generally, Coulomb's law is f is equals to k q1 q2 over r square. Here, this force is, this electric force is a vector quantity. So, to represent the direction of this electric force, we use a unit vector. So, we can write F vector, uh, we can write Coulomb's law in vector form. F vector is equals to kq1 q2 over r square into our unit vector. The next point is Coulomb's vector form for light charges. Here, we are considering two light charges. We can take both charges positive, we can take both charges negative. Their central distances are as these both charges are same. So, uh, electric force here will be repulsive force. And this electric force is represented by the unit vector R12. Here are some special parameters used in this figure. You have to pay attention here because most of the time students get confused here in understanding these parameters. Here F21 is the force exerted by the charge Q1 on Q2. Here, here is charge Q1 and charge Q2. R12 is unit vector pointing from Q1 to Q2. F21 is here, R12 is here, F12 is here and R21 is here. These four are important parameters and I explain them here. Force exerted by the charge Q1 on Q2. R12 is unit vector pointing from Q1 to Q2. F12 is force exerted by the charge Q2 on Q1 and R21 is unit vector pointing from Q2 to Q1. By using these parameters, we are moving to our next point that is Coulomb's law versus Newton's third law. As both these charges are same charges, so like charges uh, repel each other and form an action-reaction pair. So, uh, repulsive force exerted by the charge Q1 on Q2 is written as F21 is equals to KQ1 Q2 over R square by using unit vector R12. Keep focus here. When we are considering F21, then we will consider here the position vector R12. When we are considering F12, then we are taking position vector R21. As you can see in the figure, for 21 position vector is 12, for 1 to force position vector is 21. Here, uh, as we know that R12 and R21 are unit vectors in opposite direction. So, we can write this R21 unit vector as in the form of R12 because these both are unit vectors having same magnitude but they both are in opposite direction. So, here I used instead of R21, I used minus R12. As we know that uh, F21 is equals to K Q1 Q2 over R square. So, in this figure, I kept this minus sign. 
here and by considering rest of the factors equals to F21. So this equation is becomes F12 is equals to minus F21 which is the proof of Newton's third law.